by quarter-final stage. As you can see, semi-finals. Well, one is already in progress. In fact, I can tell you, it has just ended. And the defending champions and two-time winners, uh, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, who also happen to be the world champions, have just been the Olympic champions, Tianqing and Zhao Yunlei. So this, a new experience for the Japanese pair. Their first ever All England semi-final. They were the number three Red. seeds last year. And they lost in the very first round to Lee Soo Hee and Sung Chan of Korea. That pair, incidentally, this year reached the quarter-final stage. So Takahashi. Well, she's Takahashi is actually on the right as we look at them. Matsutomo on the left. Matsutomo has just turned 22. Takahashi will be 24 next month. They are up one place in the world ranking this week to number three. They have been as high as two. 16 weeks they spent as world number twos. And last year played 16 tournaments reaching two finals but failed to win a title this year they've already played three tournaments they've been in two finals winning one last week in the german grand prix gold and as you can see well virtually got a walkover in the first round their opponents retired after playing just one point but uh, yesterday's quarter final against the number seven seeds pierre bernadette and uh, the risky emilia pradita needed but their opponents had an even longer match yesterday. The qualifiers, Ma Jin and Tang Huan Ting. Ma Jin, 25 years of age, her partner just 19. And they had to qualify at the start of this event. Two quarterfinals in two tournaments played this year. So their win-loss record for last year, obviously 0-0, zero because zero, they haven't formed their partnership. But let's take note of, first of all, in the qualifying, the second round of the qualifying, uh, they beat the reigning Commonwealth Games gold medalists, Duala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapir. And then in the second round of the main draw, they came up against the number two seeds, uh, Christina Peterson and Camilla Ruta Yule. Hour and five minutes for that. But yesterday in the quarter final against uh, Lee So Hee and Shin Sung Chan of Korea, they of course were world junior champions twice 2011 and 2012. An hour and 26 minutes to come through that. So both these pairs having marathon matches yesterday in the quarter final stage. In fact, I think those are some of the longest matches of the tournament so far. So our court officials, both from England. This is the first time that these two pairs have met each other. I think that's quite understandable, seeing as the Chinese pair have only just formed their partnership. On my right, Ma Jing, Tang Yuen Ting, China. On my left, Mizaki Matsutomo, Ayaka Takahashi, Japan. <laughs> Ma Jing to serve to Ayaka Takahashi. Love all. Play. So Ma Jin, the former world mixed doubles champion in this Women's doubles semi final anyway. Oh dear, that's a bit ominous, isn't it? Service over. Margin. One love. Also, winner of the mixed doubles at the All England Championships with Zhu Chen. But she's going to have to bounce back from earlier disappointment earlier today because when she was playing her mixed doubles Two. semi final, her partner, Zhu Chen, got injured and withdrew part way through that semi final against the Olympic champions and teammates. And, and Jiao Yun Lei. So there's several questions in my mind, Morton. 
For a start, the Japanese pair, well, they're highly ranked, Three. highly regarded oh. in world terms. They're a very, very steady and good combination in general, but this is their first ever semi-final. We have seen in the past sometimes on these big matches, they get a little bit nervous. The occasion gets to them. The other question in my mind is whether Margin is a little disappointed about the mixed doubles and, and obviously the way that finished. So or whether it will make her more fired one, up for this. Three. I think Lilad, I think she is more fired up. I'm, I'm sure she wants to make amends and, and, and go through f uh, to the final in this uh, women's doubles. Um, the, the, the thing is that uh, both these pairs, obviously is <laughs> curse of the commentator, what am I going to say now? Uh, they are Two, not really three. able to kill that many shots. And that means that's why they play these grueling long matches, because uh, they have to wear the opponents down. And in, in this respect, uh, I think Tang Wenqing is, is, is a nice breath of air because she can actually hit and, and score points. And I think, you know, if she gets the opportunity, she can be a deciding factor in this, uh, in this match. Despite her inexperience so and her young the age, yeah, I think so. I think she has proved herself already. When we've been watching her earlier in the oh, tournament, I think two. she's played well, and uh, and she's get great support from Margin as well. So, uh, in my book, it's it's not the biggest problem. Opportunity for Matsutomo. So, the World Junior three, Championships four. in the girls singles 2010 lost out to the player we've just witnessed. Uh, oh. Rachinok, I was there. Mexico. Mm. Yeah. Guadalajara. Mm. Are you surprised that she's been guided into doubles then after that single success? No, not really. Uh, Japan has a, a lot uh, to offer in, in the ladies' singles as well. So, you know, it's, uh, it's choices of, uh, of the coaches as well. And I think, you know, it's a fair choice. Mm. <laughs> We're in for a long match here. Oh, that's good pressure. Good pressure. Good lift. So this over. Five, three. Good, that's excellent play by both the Chinese players. Good attack from the baseline so and then the finish off of the net Four, by Margin. Five. Really decisive. Good smash there, good follow up. Smash, isn't it? Yeah. Two twenty-three. Somehow, you know, I know. Uh, uh, my mind is is just spinning here. The next match, uh, 
we are going to, to see. We will see uh, Fernaldi so, so and, and Marcus Kieler play. Five. And in that combination, Fernaldi is, is working so hard and running around Marcus Kiedi. Kido. <laughs> Kido. And, uh, and what we see here is that Margin is running in at the net, trying to take control of the net all the time. Yeah. And her partner is really doing all the hard work from the baseline. Doubles margin. So the Number one in December 2009, playing with Wang Xiao Li, and that too was a very similar style. Margin mm. wanted to go forward. Wang mm. Xiao Li, very powerful from, from the back, back of the court. Yeah. So we will witness two pairs playing in a in a similar style. Yeah. A similar favour with the Japanese pair, or are they much so more seven, even? Much more balanced, even. Yeah. Seven, six. Well, that's my feeling too. She's not going down the, the center of the court on this one. Eight or well placed. Mm, getting quicker, 227. Yeah. See, nine. Why oh, both eight. of their matches, their quarterfinals yesterday, lasted more than an hour <laughs> and twenty-five minutes. Right. Yeah. Right. In all fairness, you have to add that you know playing in such a big arena like the uh, mm. National Indoor Arena here in Birmingham, it makes it 
even more difficult to play than this. Yeah. Score's actually moved on to 9 8. to finish it off. Oh, there was a shot earlier in that rally so this over. from Tang. Nine all. And she took off the top of the tape. Look at that. That is world class. No, if she hadn't done that, uh, the Japanese would have won that rally straight away. Mm. I think a, a pattern is, is starting to, to create itself. Japanese... Uh, Quite happy to sit down, as you see here, lifting even on the return of surf. And uh, I think they are really prepared to try to, to outlast uh, their Chinese opponents and just keep it going forever and ever. Mm. And totally rely on, on physical strength and ability to keep it going. have the advantage, a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval. Mm. Really in. Thirteen minutes. The advantage for the qualifiers. We had a lot of fun last week, Morton, in Germany when we were talking and thinking about Ayaka Takahashi because her sister her little sister, Sayaka Takahashi, won the women's singles and we yes, were racking our brains and looking through the history books to try and find siblings who yeah. win titles at the same tournament in different di disciplines. Of course, we have siblings that play together, Marta, Marcus Guido and Cleo Bernadette. And but I have another one. Family Sidex? Yeah, that we came up was the last time that it happened at this elite level. But yeah. Toby and Derek Eng from Canada mm. won the Pan American Championships. But we were thinking of Rika Rolson, what was her He's sister's like name? Lotta 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 Rolson. Mm. And yeah. Shinta Mulia Sari from mm. Indonesia and yeah. her brother. Well, I should say Singapore. They moved to Singapore, didn't mm. they? And yeah. Manakis, Rex. Yeah, lo lots of Manakis. Yeah, yes. but we think that Takahashi, sisters, first women siblings to win <laughs> okay. titles at the same tournament. It was a lot of fun. We had we had emails Picking coming up, in yeah. from the other side of the world. It was ah, that's good. Yeah, that's that's really good fun. Like obviously, it must have taken days and days to find out that. Uh, Denmark had no one in the semi-finals uh, <laughs> since 1937. <laughs> I'm going to say nothing. Yeah. Denmark has a better record here than we do. <laughs> yes, yes, we do have. 12, 9. Now, Morton, I know you've talked about the fact that neither of these pairs have the big killer shot, and that's why we see extended rallies. Yes. But I wonder, you know, I, I know we talked about it yesterday, but I think it was in the mixed doubles semi uh, quarterfinal with the uh, English pair of Mr. and Mrs. Adcock. Yes. And I said, well, just playing the the game where they had been playing was so not winning no. 10, and I watched 12. this Japanese pair 
and, yeah. and I'm big fans of them. But the number of times I want to sort of say, somebody go forward, take that half chance. Yeah. And it seems that they're so steady, they're so fit. Yes. They are so prepared to work so hard that I think sometimes they miss opportunities, so, so those half chance opportunities. 15, yeah, I couldn't uh, agree with you more, you know, there's, uh, I don't know if there's a saying, but you know, you can work hard, but you can also work smart. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, you know, a, a combination between the two will be ideal. Mm. Spotted umpire. Sharp. <laughs> Amanda Vellum from England, the umpire. Oh, good return of serve. Service over. 11 14. Yeah, that's the problem with a new partnership. Who goes for those big court area shots? Who's going to go for the one down the middle? Those are all the things that have to be worked out, and so there's a complete understanding. So this over, 15-11. See, after that defensive shot, I would have liked to have seen one of the Japanese players go yeah, forward. For, yeah, I agree. And again. Towards the right shoulder of Matsutomo. So the 16, 12. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good placement. I think this is a decisive gap in this first game. A worthy gap, I think. Yeah. They'd be more adventurous in their style. More proactive. Oh, no, that's better. Yeah, well, that should have been finished. Yeah.
18, 12. And the whole thing about women's doubles, in, in my opinion, Morton, is the fact that you shouldn't be trying to hit winners from the back of the court. You should be trying to set your partner up at the net. I think the defensive play is now so good of all the top women's doubles players oh. that you really have to sort of involve the net player. So when so the net so player good. does get involved, if they mm. don't finish it off, yeah. 13, it sort of, 18. you know, defeats the whole purpose. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's all about playing, uh, get, uh, playing your partner good. Yeah. coaches 18. when I was just a, a mere youngster said to me the idea of doubles is to make your partner look good mm. and if you both look good then you're both doing your job yes you can't win on your own no or very few can Park Dubon can do it Yeah, you can't do wrong playing with anyone, they're yeah. world class. Yes. There he is. Yes, oh, the yeah. master himself. Nearest to us. 19, 14. Mm. World and Olympic champion. It's not just power of shots from Tank, it's also marvellous placement. 20, game point, 14. Game point opportunities for the qualifiers. Yeah. I haven't been far off in my prediction. I think that has made a big difference. That Tank has been able to, uh, to put, smash this away and score ah! points. Mm. That has definitely been the decisive ah. factor. So this over. 15, 20. Well, that's the sort of initiative and, and the half chance. Go forward, take 16, the opportunity. 20. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But Play. just playing it continuous is not working either. I oh, just, as I usually say, it takes a longer time to die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little smile at the luck of the net cord. 17, mm, 20. Game point saved. Another three remain. How early Margin was in there. Yeah, but the Chinese should have finished this one. Had two opportunities.
this time. 26 minutes for the opening game. 21-17 in favour of the qualifiers. First game won by Ma Jing, Tang Yuang Ting, 21-17. Oh, what a battle that was. Number three seeds have got an awful lot more work to do. 21-17. to make a, a guess by their gesturing they were saying very similar things to us Morton that really need to hit now more and take the chances at the net yeah, surely Pao Chubong wants it I've seen yeah. him gesturing it uh, a few times earlier through the, the first game mm -hmm. play You know, we could have the remarkable scenario, uh, Morton, of for a second consecutive year having qualifiers in the women's doubles reaching the final. Yeah. It's misleading, isn't it? It is, grossly. <laughs> <laughs> because, of course, last year, Zhao Yunlei and Chen Shu, who were former world number ones, had to play together for about two years, mm. and therefore their world ranking wasn't high enough, and they had to play the qualifying they went all the way through to the final and we're looking at this Chinese combination and Margin is a formal world number one in women's doubles and a former world champion in mixed doubles yeah. but it emphasizes I think the the possibilities that China have got they so can swap the these pairings round more. they put in this is only their th third tournament together mm. and if they continue playing like this they're going to be in the All England final yes yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And, and the thing is that it's been playing on my mind and on the tip of my tongue for, for a little while because you, you mentioned, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, that, uh, that the Chinese pair is uh, not breaking up but is split up for at least another tournament uh, yes. in, in the future. Next Super Series event yeah. in so, India. So, um, so it would be interesting to see what, uh, what they're coming up with then. Well, I can tell you that Ma Jin is Three, teaming up two. with Wang Xiao Li, with whom she did become world number one back in 2009. There she is. So, yeah, we could have the very interesting scenario that the two pairs in the final of the women's doubles in the very next Super Series event will swap partnerships. <laughs> yeah. Because Tang Huan Ting is down to play with Yu Yong in Four, India. Two. Yeah, they're searching for the right combination, no doubt about it. The, the qualification for the Olympics is uh, 
It's not far off. It's, it sounds really crazy, but it's not really far off. No. And once the qualifying period starts, you really have to remain in your partnerships. So, so and, uh, if you want a head start, you three, have to prepare four. and have the partnership ready at least six months before the period starts. Yeah, very good point. So it's over. Five, three. Concerning body language. Yeah. I'm sitting here thinking that, uh, in a way, it's, it's 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 a good thing because. Not to be misunderstood, but I think that the the Japanese pair is not really coming with anything. I don't mm. know if, if you know what I mean. I definitely know what you mean. It's, it's, you know, they play, yes. They're good at it, yes. But for this sort of level, they must be able to differentiate themselves in some sort and in some way. Mm. And they are not. They are not coming with anything. And, and being able to get possibly into the All England final, mm. not doing that, yeah. would not be fair to everyone else. <laughs> And, and the other thing that, you know, Nine, I think three. going back maybe 20 years or so, that women's doubles became a very negative game. Yes. And it was just all about defence. Yes. I thought we'd moved on from that. Yes. You know, it started with Gurfei and Gu Jun, very explosive pair Chinese yep. players. Then we had Gao Ling and Huang Sui. Yes. Again, very explosive attacking pair. Wang Xiao Li, very good, very attacking. The Olympic champions, Zhao Yunlei and Tiang Qing, very yes. attacking pair. And suddenly, with this Japanese pair, they're so good in defence that, in a way, it becomes the going, old style, as it were. Going back in time. Yeah. And, and this is not the only pair from Japan playing like this. They no, have that's one, right. uh, one or two more pair, pair yeah. playing the same. So in, in a way, the, I, I think, you know, it's not to be misunderstood, but I think in, in fairness, in terms of play, um, the, the Japanese, they have to go home, go back to the drawing board and find ways of differentiating Eleven, themselves. Three, yeah. interval. Yeah, because we're already at the mid-game yeah. interval. Eight point difference between the two pairs. Yeah, I just champion with Li Yongbo in the men's doubles. And in a way, to me, it's a bit surprising the way the Japanese pair play given Park Jubong's style as a player because, you know, not only uh, two Olympic medals, gold in the men's doubles, silver in the mixed doubles, seven world championship medals, five of them gold. He never lost a world championship final. And his style of play, Park Jubong, was to look for the mid-court area, get forward whenever possible and command that net. Mm. Three. 
Yeah, it was good. Play. And the men's doubles pairs from Japan now. Very attacking, very explosive. Yeah. See, I've always been a bit, I suppose, uh, well, I don't know how to put it, but I mean, if I was in a situation like this and, and getting frustrated with my style of play so the and the fact that I was losing, I'd say, what the heck, Four, I'm going to lose anyway. 12. Let's just do something completely different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too rash? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I would possibly do the same. But I would then go home sit in my chair and think for a day mm. and say, OK, have I learned a lesson here? Mm. Yes, I have. If I want to win in the future, going crazy on the court yesterday have to be some sort of my new game and I have to practice it and get better at it. So it's not crazy anymore. It's part of your game. Ah! Yeah. Mm. I think, I think, you know, Balancing is a lot Five, about this uh, self-searching ability. You know, you, you have to be oh. your, your own worst critics. Mm. But, you see, to me, that's actually how the game has changed, because in our day, and we are sounding like old fogies again now, Morton, but we didn't have the sort of financial backing to have coaches with us on all trips. Mm. Sometimes we'd help each other when on the coaching bench, mm. as it were. And we had to analyse and watch the game and work out for ourselves what did I need to improve on, what did you need to improve mm. on, and we figured it all out. Now, to me, I'm watching this women's doubles, and it's almost as if, well, this is what we've been told to do. And Six, even though it isn't 12. working, there's no initiative. Yeah. yeah. And that bothers me a bit, that the, the players aren't taking this, the personal responsibility that you took. Mm. Yeah, uh, I agree. And obviously, on occasions, you're running out of options and you tried everything you got in the book and then you have to go home and create another book. Yeah. That's one. Hey! So, so the 13-6. from Takahashi. Mm. So Good counter attacking on that one. Seven, 14. I think Margin is covering the site and it's very hard for, for Tang to, to see it.
good judgment. Yeah, well left. Service over. 15 7. So this over, 8.15. disguise on the top shot there. So this over 16-8. There's a fair old amount of strutting on the thigh there of Takahashi. Just an overuse injury. Does actually raise an interesting point, though. Morton with a Grand Prix gold event 10, last week 16. in Mulheim in Germany. And of course, this Japanese pair won the event. That's a lot of matches in two weeks mm. in the build up. Given their style of play, which is a very physical, grueling style of play, just entering my mind about the sensibility of playing the week before the the greatest badminton tournament as far as the Super Series are concerned, the tradition of the All England, mm. it's considered the one everyone wants to win. So this over, ah. 17, but, 10. You know, I'm, I'm sure somehow they have played like this since they were 10 years old and they're used to it and obviously they should be able to. Physically cope. Yes, you know, after all, I know they're long and hard matches, but, but still. I'm sure they fit enough for that. That's why sometimes what, what can be a, a more worrying thing is that uh, 18, when you play on, on floors that might be a little bit too hard and all that, so it's not maybe so much playing the, the matches themselves, but it's uh, the flooring can be tough on, the, on, on your legs. Judgment team. It did make, make so me wonder so if uh, a lot of these lifts and clears have been out. Because lately, two or three has gone out. away from a place in the final.
So this over, 12, oh, 20. That's a good rally by the Japanese pair. Why on earth weren't they doing more of that earlier on? Hit and move forward. Yeah, that was a good drive. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Comes. 21 17, 21 12 in 47 minutes. And it will indeed be an all Chinese women's doubles final tomorrow. And the defending champions. Xiao Li and Wu Yang await a Ma Jin and Tang Huan Ting. 21 17, 21 12. And the qualifiers are through to the final. Yeah, they look pretty happy, don't they? I'm saying they should. And it'll be interesting tomorrow. Former partners against each other with those former partnerships. One of them about to be reformed after this tournament. That means that the uh, Chinese pair of Ma Jin and Tang Huan Ting have battled all the way from the qualifying through to the final where they will meet the uh, defending champions and two-time winners, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, who tomorrow will be here in their fourth consecutive final here at the All England Championships. So the next match is men's doubles, and it's all Indonesian affair. It is the world champions Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan up against Gideon Marcus Fernaldi and Marcus Kido. Please welcome the players for the men's doubles first semi-final. First of the number one seeds from Indonesia, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. Fernaldi and Marcus Kido. Well, the world champions make their way onto court, and I think there's been a little mishap where the players walk in because the revolving door seems to have shut on the unseeded combination. Come on, somebody let them in. We need them. <laughs> Otherwise, we have no match. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Welcome, Marcus Kido and Gideon Marcus for now.
So in the men's doubles, this match from the top half of the draw. And this, the only discipline at semi-final stage that hasn't featured at least one Chinese player. So the men's doubles, the bottom half of the draw. Go Sun Hyung and Shin Bek Chol. We saw Go Sun Hyung in the mixed doubles, our first match of the day. They're up against the number two seeds, Indo and Hawakawa. Lauren's best up of South Africa. That's the toss of the coin. Now, this is going to be interesting. Will they warm up? No, they're going to warm up with their partners, as is traditional in this sport of badminton. For a moment, and they're going to be a little more friendly. So there we go. Hindra Setia one on the left as we look at them. The 29 year old from the ancient city of Malang in East Java. His partner is 26 from Palambang in South Sumatra. Won the world title last year in Guangzhou, beating uh, Matthias Bo and Custom Morganson in the final. World number one, and as you can see from their win loss record of last year, 14 tournaments, eight finals. This year they've played one tournament, the Malaysian Super Series and defending champions, and they lost in the second round, so their win loss record for this year, one and one. Well, they had a tough match in the second round against the English pairing of Chris Langridge and Peter Mills. And in the quarterfinal yesterday against the qualifiers, Fu Haifeng, Olympic men's doubles champion, and Zhang Nang, Olympic mixed doubles champion, it was very close indeed, as you can see. In fact, the Indonesians saved a game point in each of those two games. Finished at half past midnight last night, so tough scheduling for the Indonesian pair. So to Marcus Kido uh, on the left as we look at them, he's 29 years of age, born in Jakarta. Gideon Marcus Fernaldo is going to turn 23 tomorrow. First ever appearance at the Yonix All England Championships. Can you imagine if he was celebrating his birthday and playing in the final play. as well? Wouldn't that just be wonderful? 16 and 6, their win loss record for last year. They won the French Super Series as qualifiers. What a turn up that was. So, they had their problems in the first round, but I really want to draw your attention to the 2011 champions who they disposed of in the second round. The number three seeds, Matthias Bowen and Carsten Mulgensen, in the quarterfinal yesterday. They played the number five seeds, Hoon Tian Hao and Tang Wu Kiong. Two really fairly comfortable games it was yesterday. I think their match in the second round, though, was absolutely astonishing. 32 minutes, totally dominant. So there is our umpire from South Africa. Lawrence Bista and Alan Crow, the service judge. Second meeting between these two pairs. First occasion was in the second round of the Denmark Super Series last year. And this pair ranked number one in the world. And they won on that occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kidu, Marcus Kidu, and Gideon Marcus Vinaldi, Indonesia. And on my left, Hindra Sitiwan and Mohammed Hassan, Indonesia. Marcus Kidu to serve to Mohammed Hassan. Level. Play. 
So the world champions, Mohamed Hassan and Rosetti one nearest to us there on the red shirts. And very interesting dynamics for this match. Indra Setiawan, who's serving. Former partner, not of this man, but of Marcus Kido. And with Marcus Kido, they won virtually everything there was to win, apart from the All England title. And the world Two, seven, Olympic seven. champions, there's Marcus Two, Kido. One. Rallies at the moment very short indeed. Two, now, obviously, there's the dynamics of former partners opposing each other. Of course, the pair at the far end of the court now seven, play seven, independently. Seven. They're professional players. Three, they don't get funding two. from their national federation. But always difficult to play against a former partner, Morgan. It's, yes, and it's always difficult to play someone from your own country. So it's just a very special match, this one. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I think we're, uh, we're in for a treat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Setia one at the net is just superb. I've been a huge fan of his for years. Four, the way two. he reads the game. And it's interesting, even though we have uh, pairs from the same nation on court, yeah, two, seven, they still have coaching. Three, Normally there is no coaching when you know players from the same country play, but because of they are into two different setups, we will have coaching on the side as well. Yeah. Oh, it's called good. Ooh, maybe a challenge. Challenge, yeah, home. got another In. challenge. Now well, I instinctively thought that may have been wide. What do you think, Morton? Same as you. Yep. Mm. Yeah, I would have called that wide. It was called good. Challenge unsuccessful. Successful. Yeah, so good so challenge. Four all. Finalists last year Six. were Mohamed Hassan Four. and Hendra Setion. Lost out to the eventual champions Liu Xiaolong and Chu Si Han. We were beaten in the first round here this year, the defending champions from China. Lost out to your Danish pair that yes. you've been coaching. That's true. Uh, Kim Astrup and uh, and Anas Rasmussen. Seven. So they had a, a wonderful win in the first round, but. Uh, couldn't follow up in the in the next and lost to a pair from Korea. Yeah, so often hey. men's doubles a very short, sharp rallies. Yeah, I think uh, Fernaldi is uh, is looking a little bit the uh, the weaker link. Um, here in, in the uh, early stages Nine, of the match. Four. Mm. And uh, <laughs> not commentators, Chris. So uh, I think he's got to pick up his game to follow the three others. Yeah, well, he's the only player on court who's not been in four. an All England semi final before. Uh. Not been at the All England before. <laughs> Eleven for interval. Seven straight points from four all to eleven four.
Well, both Mohammed Hassan and Henry are City on. They've been getting good night's sleep. Only four minutes. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Very quick. The reason I mention the good night's sleep is because Mohammed, our son, became my father on the 3rd of January. Baby daughter. And Hendra Setia, one's wife, gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl, on the 19th of February. Okay. <laughs> well, they're both brand new fathers. Yeah and away from home getting some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, poor wives are back home. Yeah. International Women's Day as well. 11, four, play. Completely missed it. Well, four. Oh, this is eight straight points now. Thirteen, four. Yeah, so far it's just too, too quick for Kido and partner. Fourteen, four. Straight points. Fifteen. Service over. Five. Fifteen. Service over. Sixteen. Five. What do you say to a, a young player that he's, he's obviously riddled with nerves mm. at the moment? With your coaching hat on, Morton, what would you be saying to him? You know, it's, it's, it's not so the so end of the world if you lose. You know, six, you go in and you play 16. your best, enjoy it, uh, have fun. Um, at the end of the day, you know, you, if you lose the match, you don't die. You, there are plenty of other opportunities uh, to play in the future. So, you know, go in, enjoy it. Yeah. Service over. 17, 6. And at the end of the day, you know, I, I always used to say to myself when, when I was uh, either, you know, starting a tournament, starting a match, obviously you're nervous because you, you want to do well. 18, 6. But this is actually what you've been training for all your life. Exactly. You're, you're training and training and training day in and day out, and you're grilling yourself to, to shreds to be able to stand in there. Yeah. on this occasion so you know I understand you know you're nervous but after two three four minutes shrock it off play your matches enjoy it because mm. this is actually 19, what you've been playing for six. Yeah. and view it as an opportunity absolutely be positive yeah Yeah, it's a nice shot that maybe help settle the nerves Seven. I suspect it's too 19. late for this opening game yeah, it's regroup try to to go for the second set. Kilo has already uh, resigned to it uh, a so few so points ago. 20, game point, seven. Game. Mm, well, that was really over really rather too quickly, about nine and a half minutes. First game Inter won by Mohamed Hassan, Indra City won. And here I was saying, you know, I'm looking forward to this match. Yeah, well, you never know. That's the beauty of sport, isn't it? You never know what can happen. 21-7. Opening game. Yeah. <laughs> 
kan kan posisi kiri kanan gitu kayak tadi setengahin gitu dilewatin 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 terus dilewatin tunggu dilewatin ya sini lu di belakang kan nanti lu lewatin terus 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 lewatin terus ya jangan jangan terlalu itu pegang terus depannya dipegang terus konsen terus fokus satu satu ya servisnya oke okay. dulu sampai sebuah poin ya ya pegang terlalu terus, santai ya kan ya. ya. pegang ke depannya cuma ya. Well, last year was their Good first one. full Finish year it. on Good tour one. as Second. a pair. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sadia won. In their first full year, eight finals, six titles. Yeah, can't be much better than that. It was remarkable the way they, they actually Second achieved game. it. I think the first Low. time I sort of Play. really took note and said, crikey, this is a pair that are going to be world beaters was at the Malaysian Super Series at the beginning of last year unseeded they went through the tournament winning it not one match lasted more than 30 minutes that's good that's yeah. pressure yeah oh yo, yo. that was nice yeah. very one. neat oh what a disguise that action is coming quick Two, one. Three, one. Do you know what the uh, the chemistry is like between the two former partners, Marcus Kido and Hendra Sadiawan, because no. I can remember when they left the Federation initially and they both became independent players. And Hendra Sadiawan said, I can't imagine playing men's doubles with anybody else two, other than Marcus Kido. Three. And then he got the call back by PBSI, the National Federation, to uh, rejoin the fold in mm. September of 2012. And of course, he's now got another World Championship gold medal. Yes. Yeah, but then uh, PBSI was uh, seeing right. Yeah. Inviting him back and uh, possibly gave him an offer Four. he couldn't refuse. Two. Well, I know last year, January last year, PBSI announced that each year they were going to have a most valuable player of Five. the year. Two. And last year it was this men's doubles pair mm. that won the award. And I can tell you it was a very handsome reward. One billion rupiah. Which translate to, I o don't know. Over 100,000 US dollars. Six. Okay. Yeah, that's Two. good. That's a nice little bonus, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I would buy you a few houses in Jakarta. Yeah. Turn us over. Three. Six. down the forehand side of City O1. Yeah, well placed. Server. 
five, seven. And I must admit that I, uh, I love the way the uh, Indonesians are doing it, the PBSI, the way they have restructured uh, everything on the playing five. side and how well the players in a very, very short time has improved and picked up and is making the, the nation proud. And I think they're doing a marvellous job on, on the revival Nine. of the Indo Indonesian Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Very, very good Five. judgment. Well, this is all going a little too quickly for my it liking. Is. Yeah, it is. Why is it, Morton, that nowadays so often we see these very, very short rallies in men's doubles? There's an enormous pressure on, on the service situation, the first three shots there. The serve, the return, the pressure is just enormous. And I think it was yesterday or the day before we actually discussed that there are people saying that we should make uh, players able to, to serve all the way Board to one, the baseline and make one, that area bigger, uh, the service area bigger. Yeah. Because the, the pressure is just mm. incredible. Yeah, because at the moment, as you look at the court, the inside back line there, that's the service box. And, and I think it's certainly worth trying. Because, I mean, at, at times, six. I mean, here we are, 16 Play. minutes we're into this match. Mm. Yeah. And the shame of it is, is not the, the length of the entire match, oh. it's the length of the six. rallies that bother me. Yeah, and it, it, it comes down to, you know, if, again, if you look at how our, our brother sport in tennis, uh, you have uh, different surfaces, and Maybe. obviously at, the, at Wimbledon, you have a lot of servant wally, but, but imagine, you know, that would be the total game of tennis. Oh. Always yes. be the yeah. same. Seven. That means that, you know, the, the big servers, the good uh, volley players, they will be in total command of, of, mm. of the complete game. Yeah. And that, that is a so little bit of equivalent here. Yeah. If you're a good server, if Seven. you have a good heart smash, you do really well in, in men's doubles. Yeah. Service over. Eight, oh, that's quick. Oh, that's quick. Oh, that's quick. That is quick. Yeah. Fourteen. Eight. The way he is able to go in on the backhand first, that one there. Oh, that's good. Mm. Good reaction by Fernandi. Nine, fourteen. Yeah, he leapt from the receiving position. He didn't even take a step before he leapt back to that flick serve. Such a contrast to our previous match, isn't mm. it? Yes. Where we just had long, long <laughs> rallies the whole time. Oh, so and you can, yeah, blink 15. and you miss a rally. Ding. You miss three. <laughs> <laughs> Coaches even nod in approval. Seventeen. Yeah. 
Queen. Well, I'm afraid there is no uh, birthday present tomorrow. No. It doesn't look like it anyway. Not in terms of badminton. No. Give him Marcus Finaldi. His birthday will be a subdued affair tomorrow, 11, I think. 17. Disappointment, I have to say. I like you, Morton. Was really over. looking forward to this. 12, 19. What a shame. Yes. But I think that this pair was simply just outclassed mm. from the very beginning, and that meant that total panic all the way. Suddenly, yeah. they over. look like they've never played badminton before, and it's so Match unfair point. because well, they have had yeah. a wonderful tournament. But I just think that the pressure in every single department is just too great. Mm. Match point opportunities. First time of asking. And a first ever All England final for Hindra Setiawan and Mohammed Hassan. 21-12 in the second game, having stormed through the first in just nine minutes. 21-7. Looking at that, that right, is that 21 Mohammed minutes for the entirety in, of the match? The it one. is. It is. Seven, that is twelve. extraordinary. Well, 21-7, 21-12, and Indonesia's world champions will be in the final tomorrow. Seeds, the world champions. Well, no question that they deserve their number one status last year. And look to be back. Playing very, very sharp badminton indeed. I have to feel a little bit for Marcus Guido and Gideon Marcus Fernaldi. As you say, Morton, they played so well throughout the tournament, but today just could not replicate that sort of form. So as the world champions take leave, well, they can look forward to the final tomorrow. We don't yet know who their opponents will be.